basic stuff on. Um, Right now, I'm getting all geared up. Offers you two channels, A and B, a push to talk standard, you know, yeah. walkie talkie style comms. The difference is, is because all of these radio networks, this mesh network is IP based, we can assign up to 16 different talk groups, which means on channel A, you can cycle through one through 16. You can assign those to assault nets, command nets, you know, whatever kind of net that you need to do, and then all you have to do is cycle through and be able to talk to a whole bunch of different channels. Right? Okay. Same thing on channel B. The cool thing about this radio is like a lot of Standard military radios and stuff are, you know, single channel push to talk. You gotta hold, talk, and then allow somebody else to talk. Mm -hmm. Here we can double tap these two buttons right here and go into full duplex mode, which is a cell phone style conversation where you full duplex, you just hear it in your earphones, you just talk. That allows the operator to have both of their hands free and do whatever they need to do without having to push on a button all the time. Okay. Um, so go ahead and uh, put your headset on real quick. And then what I want you to do is on channel A, if you can see it right here, just click and just say something, you should be able to hear a beep. Yep, okay. And now take this channel A button right here, this uh, rotator button, and just select it covering the different channels. You should be able to hear channel two, you know, whatever they call it, command net, channel one, assault net, all those types of things. Yep. You're not busy. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Now if you're do the same thing on B, you should be able to hear it on this side. Yep. So get it? Cool. That's awesome. So now select uh, channel one on both of these. So just rotate it until it says channel one, assault net. Okay. Yeah. And you can imagine over time you get really used to this so you know which way to turn it and everything like that. So you're good there. Now I want you to try the full duplex communication. So the full duplex is basically the A and B buttons, you're going to click them twice. You're going to go click, click, like that, and you're going to hear mic open. Try it one more time. You say mic on? You said mic on. I only hear it louder. That's okay. Yeah, so if it says mic on, that's your indication that you're on full duplex comm. If somebody else was talking on the network, you could hear them breathing, you could hear them talking just like as if you had an open channel on the cell phone. So now have, go ahead and double click it twice and you should hear mic off. Awesome. So that's basically the audio portion of it. Um, there's a lot of things that go on inside the radio itself. The radio is a computer. So I've actually been doing my research on it. Yeah. Um, from a civilian standpoint, yeah. Is it pop, is it true you can't get them? No, it's not true. So uh, Post Malone, yeah. you know the singer, the rapper, or whatever. Yeah. He bought them himself for the, all of the security details. So because I was, I know what they're like five grand. They're a little bit more than. Oh, that. okay. Yeah. yeah. So these uh, these radios were developed basically through funds from SoCal. US SOCOM, right? So those individuals came down and said, hey, we want it to look like this, we need it to do these things. Um, and so the persistent systems at the company decided, all right, we're going to build something to their specifications. We take it a little bit step further because most standard radios in the world, you know, you're just going to do some push to talk, maybe a little bit of data and things like that. These radios are able to stream video, go across the world with cloud relay, control robots, and all kinds of cool stuff, right? So I'm going to walk you through this, actually, let's see if, uh, let's see, I'm going to pull out your RDC, so this is called the Ruggedized Display Controller. Okay. Now there's a lot of buttons on this, but it was designed to be sort of like a game controller in some aspects, it has two joysticks right here. So the first thing you want to do is push this really sharply, and you should 
get a screen powering up. Yep. All right, so what you see now is that inside of the radio, it's an Android operating system uh, with a Linux partition for the compute portion of it. Um, first thing you want to click is that ATAC, so that little shield symbol. Yep, it'll come up here. It takes a second uh, to load all these things, but once it's loaded, I'll describe to you what it is. So ATAC is basically a position, location, program. I'm, I'm familiar with You're ATAC. Familiar with that. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. not familiar with yeah, it. No, I'm familiar. I have a just not like fundamentally knowledge. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm like probably basic bear 101. Yeah. So, bear I mean, I know what it is. So, you know what it is. Yeah. yeah. So, it's a chat function, yeah. location function. You can do all kinds of other things uh, when it comes to the military version of it. Yep. You can see it right there. So, the first thing we're going to try to bring up. It, well, actually, not even an ATAC. We're going to close that out, so we're going to hit home. Okay. And now we're going to go into the Boston Dog. So I'm new at the Boston Dynamics Dog. I'm going to have you click that that program, but okay. then I'm going to have our resident expert walk you through because he's going to have to take control from me. Okay. For this dog right here. Incorrect device data. That's okay. Oh, let's see. I'll walk you. I'll get you the up to the point where we can. Where's the save date? I don't have my glasses on. Set date. Okay. And this is in January. And this is the 20... 24. Yeah. No, it's a one day. Again. There we go. Perfect. And that's pretty much all you have to do on that. So we're going to exit out over here. Okay. Back into here. Okay, so we'll stop right here and we'll get... Hey Dakota, can you come over here with me? Yes sir, how's it going? Can you just get him up and uh, running on the robot itself? I'm not too comfortable with like, Absolutely, walking guys. Yep. Alright, so where are we at right now? Let me sneak over here. He's ready, we just sent the date and now okay. he's ready to take control of the robot. So let's hit the bottom option there. Okay. They've done everything else on the other side. So once he's done here, awesome. he's rocking with the t-shirts and Sweet. Stuff. We'll get you through, man. Uh, we're going to do uh, the top option right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, client admin. Let me grab the password. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Don't steal the bone frog. Client at N123. I need to change my luggage now. One, two, three. One, two, yeah. Client admin 123. Oh. Did I show that right? The uh, client is C L E I D. C L I E. I E. So bad about that because my son's name is backwards with the E and the I. Okay. C L I E N T. Admin. One, two, three. Check. There you go. We're in. A couple more steps to get through. Good. On the top of your thing, you're going to hit these bumpers. You're going to hold them down, and then you're going to press the beep. Hold beep down and beep. Yep, so hold them down. You'll see the screen light up. Now beep. Now operate. Yes. Here we go. Put the power button at the top. Checkbox. Right here. Uh, yep, right. Checkbox right there. Yep. There you go. Now it's booting up. Should be blinking at us. It is. Alright, I'm going to come online in just a second. And then you are going to press the B button. 
Now, A. All right, you are in lock mode. You ever play Call of Duty? Call of Duty controls. Left stick, forward, backwards, side strafing. Right stick is going to be turning like a clock. So you can just go ahead and get a little gas forward. It has obstacle avoidance, so when I'm trying to not run into stuff, it doesn't mean it's perfect, but it'll do its best. Okay. Oh, that's fancy. Oh, yeah. That's easy. Turn it around this way, and we can walk around out here. I didn't hear you ask consent. Oh, well, you know. All right, so from here, hit the stop. Yep. And then cut power. All right, then, you just drove spot. All remotely through our radio. How'd that, how'd that feel? I actually feel pretty cool. It's yeah. easier than it should have been. Yeah, from all the videos online, it's a whole lot easier. Huh? Yeah. All right, man, we can peel you out of here and get you some cool stuff and then uh, get you on your way. Okay. So, you know, this up. Start, you want me to turn it off? Yeah, you can turn it off. You just press it down once, hold it up to your chest, and then latch it. Good stuff, man. All right. Very you cool. You said you did everything else. Uh, like yeah, your comms he, checks. Yeah, he went yeah, yeah, yeah. the comms and everything. Cool. Awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. We get this hung up and we'll get you super wet. So you gotta give me a picture of petting the dog again. <laughs> You're such a good dog. How do I take on, on video? Oh, no, 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 just keep going. <laughs> good doggo. What do you guys do? I do media up there in uh, Elko. Okay, cool. Nice. Actually, this is kind of one of the things. Uh, a hot topic this whole year because I showed somebody the, the last two years we uh, and they had a presentation up at Sword. Yeah. They had the machine gun on it and they were walking around. Yeah. Then uh, they're in the new part walking around. Yeah. Had another photo of it. Man, I would love to walk this thing around just take a stroll. It would be really good, but uh, we're going to yell that. So. Okay. <laughs> but, well, thank you guys. It shows a lot. Thank you. Um, Shows a lot of improvement. Oh, like yeah. uh, a little bit more faster reaction. Yeah. And it's. Um, I mean, have you ever seen it get like knocked into something or like someone walks into it? It recovers. Yeah. Like, I saw. I don't know if it was CGI or if it was a, a just a demonstration of attack on a trench. It shows uh, see, four guys walking uh, like six robots. One, uh, two with uh, the six five machine gun on it, and two with like a uh, rocket launcher yeah. or a grenade launcher, or whatever, just into the trenches, all stalking it. Yeah, and if I, 
I don't know if that's scary or if that's new tech, or if that's modern war. No, a little bit, a little bit of both. Yeah, it would be kind of scary to see that walking around with like a. Well, it reminds me shotgun. of uh, what's the one with the uh, guy who he got uh, in jail. And Jamie Foxx is in. He's the lawyer. I don't know. Yeah, he made the RPD too. Kind of. Yeah. No, that's like, oh, that's an upgrade to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. And you can, uh, you can see, there's different payloads, right? Mm -hmm. 